This dog. conference will now be recorded. Yes. Yeah, I got the share screen access. <coughs> Can you hear me, guys? Anyone can confirm? Yes, sure. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Just give me a second. Okay, let me know when you see my screen. Can you see it? Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it's perfect. Great. As we discussed in the uh, previous class, uh, we will be starting with the Linux guys. Uh, just before going to the Linux, I just want to uh, know how many people know about the Linux. Uh, do you have any idea previously and have you worked any time? Uh, not, not now, but a couple of years back I have done Red Hat certification, Linux. Okay, okay. What about others? Yes, uh, in my class, uh, the I need like a little bit of responsive uh, because it will be great uh, that you are uh, that I will have an idea that you are listening or you are sleeping or something else. Okay, because the interactive sessions make uh, more uh, interesting and it will be good for both of us. Okay. I think, um, okay, some of you know about it, some of you doesn't know it. Okay, then I will start with the Linux case. Okay, we will start with the Linux. As I told you, Linux is like base uh, concept for the cloud, guys. Okay, uh, if you don't know Linux, uh, we have to learn it and you have to be a little bit master of the Linux. Okay, then only you will be completely uh, called as a cloud engineer. Otherwise, you will not be able to. Okay, and... If you know already know the Linux, then your work will be a little bit easy for you and you will be able to uh, do the task and uh, complete the work with a bit easy. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, start with the Linux. Okay. Okay. Linux is an operating system, guys. You might already uh, know about it. Just like a Windows, Linux is an operating system. Okay. If you uh, learn more about the Linux, then you will be having a 60% of your cloud is already done. Guys. Because totally the Linux, uh, the cloud is based on the Linux operating system only. Okay, most of the works, uh, most of the uh, data receiving and etc. will be done with the Linux operating system. That's why it will be better if you uh, do it, if you learn the Linux operating system and you will be very easy with the commands. Okay, one thing I have told you in the previous class is like you don't need coding at all. Okay, you are you don't need to do any Java, Python, or anything, but you should be good at uh, uh, what is a commands. Okay, you should be remembering or memorizing about the commands, guys. Okay, if uh, our uh, uh, we will train like that. Okay, we will just try to be uh, understand like that. Okay, if I wake you up in the middle of the sleep, also you should be able to tell the commands. Okay, in that case, you have to do a lot of practice, guys. Okay, a lot of practice. We will see everything practical. But still, you have to do your own practice. Okay, it's like a driving. Okay, if you want to uh, learn a car, okay, car driving. Okay, first, I will be teaching you. But later on, you have to do your own practice also. Otherwise, you will not be uh, able to achieve it. It will be always under me circumstances only you will be able to do the task. Okay, that's why you have to learn on your own also while practicing a lot. Okay, first, I will teach you. 
then you have to do the practice by your own if you face any issues yes we will uh, sit together and we will try to resolve it okay now the linux operating system if you do it 60 percent of your uh cloud will be done guys okay now we will go from the basic okay what is linux operating system first of all why we have to select it uh there are other operating systems also right there right? windows is there okay windows is there mac os is there okay there are other operating systems also but why we have to select the linux operating system only okay now first advantages okay why we have to select the linux operating system first thing is security level okay security level is higher okay than the other operating systems okay security level is higher than the other operating system guys. okay now you have now presently you can see uh, in front of you i'm using the windows operating system okay windows operating system has a system uh, firewall if anybody has already uh, seen it in the regular ways okay we might see in this kind of uh, picture okay windows defender you can see windows defender firewall okay this you might have seen this symbol you might have seen this is called as a windows defender guys okay where it will just uh, defend you okay it but it will not defend you uh, up to the level guys okay uh, anybody can crack any hacker who is good at hacking can hack your system with only this uh, windows firewall okay that's why we keep uh, that's why we install other external fire firewalls like antivirus and etc uh, to protect our system okay to protect our system we will do it now but this security level uh, is higher okay for the uh, linux operating system for the linux operating system their security level will be little bit higher guys you cannot hack the linux operating system very easily okay now the another advantage is, is like user interface okay user interface okay the another advantage is user interface uh the another advantage is user interface where you will be easily uh, can uh, access the uh, data and everything okay you can you can easily get the data access the data user interface guys who, who are the user you are the user the user interface uh, it will be easy for you to access it okay now if you see you are using the windows for a long time okay you will be able to easily access if i ask you uh, hey can you please get me the uh, zip file of uh, uh, some data in the downloads folder okay e easily you will just go to downloads folder and uh, get the zip file and uh, get it to me through uh, any communication channel okay but in the same way the linux operating system also has the easiest uh, user interface okay now the next one the main advantage which we are uh, seeing uh, for the what we are learning for the linux operating system is most pre preferable OS for the cloud based applications. Okay. Most preferable OS for the cloud based applications. Okay. For suppose if I want to uh, take an example as um, let's take an example of uh, McDonald's or KFC. Okay. Or else Zara. Okay. Zara, or Louis Vuitton. There are so many brands. Okay. Fossil. These are all the applications are high-end applications, guys, okay, where uh, these applications prefer Linux operating system should be there on the uh, application side. Why? Because that is the most secure one, okay, the first point on the server, the most secure one, and it is easy, reliable one, okay, to make your application live in that operating system rather than the Windows operating system or rather than the other Mac OS operating system. Okay, Linux operating system is most preferable operating system in the cloud. Okay, now one thing if you you have to remember in your mind is like if anyone, any company, okay, 95% of the companies are using the Linux operating system and 5% of the companies are using the Windows operating system, still they are trying to migrate it. Why they are not able to migrate it? Because they have some dependencies in the Windows operating system, okay, which Linux doesn't have it. Like uh some of them has the uh, what do you say databases and etc they have little bit of old 
dependencies okay very old dependencies are there that's why they are still using windows operating system otherwise the complete 100 percent uh, uh cloud is based on the linux operating system only okay now these are the main advantages which we have to keep it in your mind to learn about the linux operating system guys. okay if we how much fast we learn the linux operating system that much fast you will be becoming as a cloud engineer where you will be successful uh this is like a basic steps as i told you example uh previously in the class uh these are like additions and subtractions okay if you don't uh, understand these additions and subtraction in the mathematics you cannot do the complex uh mathematical problems guys. okay you, you doesn't know how to do the integrity you doesn't know how to do the probability and etc okay first this linux is the basic for the cloud okay now let's go to interface okay there are two interfaces uh, in the linux operating system guys one is a graphical user interface which we call as gui okay graphical user interface okay now for this operating system also we be, whenever we are uh, learning about linux max to max we will try to compare it to the windows guys okay we will try to compare it to the windows why because uh, most of us are using the windows operating system and we are favorable with it okay that's why we'll just compare it uh, with the windows operating system okay and we'll get a idea about it okay uh, this happens in the windows operating system then what happens in the linux okay it will it be same or will it be a little bit different how it works in the linux operating system okay we will uh, see like that and we will try to learn about it okay now uh, before going forward does anyone using the mac os uh, Mac Air or uh, um, M1, M2. Anyone using MacBook? Okay. Okay, I will consider it as a no. If you are using MacBook, guys, uh, please let me know. We will have some different kind of installation steps. Okay uh when we are discussing about it not now not about the linux uh in the future there are some other things you have to install in your system uh we will see uh if you are a mac uh macbook or oh, sorry mac os uh user okay we will try to see in a different uh, scenario okay i will explain you that how you have to install those things in the mac os okay graphical user interface guys okay what is meant by first of all graphical user interface if you doesn't know it is like whatever you are seeing on my system okay with your naked eyes okay uh if you are seeing uh in front of you with your naked eyes those considered as a graphical guys. okay graphics okay if i click on the windows operating system you can see it has opened all other uh applications okay all other apps you can see all apps okay all these apps are considered as a, which you are seeing to your naked eye in the in the graphical view if you see uh, there is a graphical view for the word it is showing it as there is a rectangular uh, there is a rectangular uh, page okay there is a page size and in that page it has shown as w in the same way for the powerpoint it is a circle with the power p okay i can see the graphs i can see the images graphs in the sense images uh, which uh for my naked eye that is considered as a graphical user interface case okay if i if i ask you hey uh can you please go and uh, check out the powerpoint which i have sent it to you then easily you will go there and check it out because you can differentiate what is powerpoint and what is word okay by seeing with your eyes okay uh, with the graphics image with your eyes in the sense with the graphical image you can easily differentiate it guys okay you can easily differentiate it which one is powerpoint and which one is a uh, word document okay that kind of interface okay that kind of easy uh, accessible interface uh, is uh, driven by the linux operating system that is called as a graphical user interface okay uh, presently i don't have that linux operating system in my this system but i can show you how it looks like <clears throat> linux os yeah here it looks like this guys okay you can see 
this is the how the uh, windows you are able to see all the apps and etc and everything okay this is how the uh, linux operating one of the linux operating system looks like it doesn't mean like all the linux operating systems looks like this only okay i will explain you a little bit further uh, when we go uh, but this is how it looks like this okay it is a user friendly one okay these are all the user friendly one where you can easily accessible and if you want to search for something you can search in the search tab okay and you can uh, check for the all the apps over here and etc okay this is the graphical user interface okay where it will be uh, uh, easily to access for you okay now the next one which is called as a command line interface okay this is the very very important one command line interface okay command line interface this is the important one guys now uh, what is the difference between graphical user interface and command line interface in the sense command the word only you can see uh, from the word only you can uh, define by yourself you understand yourself graphical user interface in the sense it will be graphical uh, pictures okay by the pictures you can recognize it okay now when it comes to the command line okay uh, commands guys okay you have to enter the commands okay if you want something you have to enter uh, you have to do the command and get that get it done okay just imagine like you are maintaining a robo in your home okay if you give the command it will give you the answer okay uh, something like that okay you have to uh, understand in such a way where commands uh, should be easy for you okay command should be easy for you for each and every minute steps also okay for each and every minute steps also now this is command line interface okay now in windows also there is a command line interface guys how many of you used okay this command prompt in your day-to-day uh, -day life okay does anyone use this command prompt in your day-to-day -day life yes or no Guys, I told you I need a little bit responsive in my class. Okay. If you don't know, just say no. If you know it, yes. That's it. Nothing much I'm asking. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I okay. It's a proper way uh, that if anyone asks you uh, to respond to you, please be responsive. It is not about uh, this class. I'm talking about uh, in your day-to-day -day life also. Uh, it will be helpful for you if you say, because you are going to be in the IT world, uh, you have to be learning what are the uh, IT minimum uh, things which you have to do in the uh, in the group calls, etc. Okay, whenever you have to ask any questions, you have to just uh, have hand raise it. If you are the meeting is more than ten people, you have to just use the hand raise. Or if you want to ask it, okay. Now in this uh, sessions, okay, I have already told you. If you have any doubt, just uh, shout at me saying like, Hey Shiva, I have one doubt. Can you please stop? And then I will stop it right over there. And clear your doubt then only we will continue okay i prefer in that way but whenever you are attending a meetings more than uh, 10 people please try to raise your hands uh, there is a uh, option in the raise hand in every meeting just try to do these are all the main uh, com, uh, what you say minimum uh, rules which you have to follow when you are attending the uh, sessions or uh, calls anywhere in your id okay whenever they ask you have you understand it do you have any questions at least just say yes or no Okay, that will be great for the person who is uh, looking for the session okay perfect now let's go the command line interface okay uh, in the in the windows operating system also there is a command line interface guys i don't know how many of you used it okay uh, this command line interface what it will be doing it is like everything will be done with the commands okay for suppose if i ask you hey uh, can you please um, can you please tell me uh, uh, is there any file okay is there any file in the 
uh, what do you say downloads folder or anything okay then what you will do what you will uh, do is like you will just if you are using a graphical user interface you are a graphical user interface user okay then you will be like this guys you will just go to downloads folder and you will see yes there are a lot of files and folders are available in the a uh, lot of files and folders are available in the downloads folder but if i am a uh, if i am a gra uh, command line user okay if i am a command line user what i will do is like i will just enter with the commands okay i will everything i will get to know with the commands okay now for suppose if i ask you uh, is there any pan card uh, in the downloads folder then you will just go there and search for each and every line and search there is yes there is a pan, pan card over here okay then you will get to know that okay pan card is there okay now if i want to get to know the same thing okay if i want to get to know the same thing through the command line interface what i will do is like i will just uh, go to the downloads folder okay i will just go to the downloads folder okay and list make a list of it then i will check out this list okay yes there is a pan card okay there is a pan card for uh, a file is there this is how i will be able to uh, do it with the command line interface okay by end of this week or next week okay you should be very very strong with the commands okay where you will be able to do uh, in the cloud engineering uh, tasks okay you should be very strong with the commands these are all the basic commands but still you have to be very strong okay now this is the uh, difference guys okay the command line interface and the uh, uh, graphical user interface okay uh, everything should be done with the commands everything should be done with the commands don't worry i will explain you the commands don't think it as i didn't explain okay now everything uh, will be done with the commands guys nothing you will be able to see with the graphical user interface okay you will not be able to see any graphics okay everything should be done with the commands only okay now the windows also have the both uh, command line interface and the uh, graphical user interface but most of us will not be using the uh, command line interface in our day to day life okay we use only graphical user interface okay but in when it comes to the linux operating system okay you have to use uh, command line interface a lot i will tell you why also okay now if you have if you download and install linux operating system okay if you in download and install linux operating system with the gui interface okay then you will get both gui graphical user interface plus command line interface just like how you got it in the windows operating system okay uh in the when you uh, install the windows 11 for suppose i am using windows 11 when you install windows 11 you can see i am getting the graphical user interface you can see at the end of this uh, toolbar okay your pin bar you will be able to see uh, the uh, icons okay when you are able to see the icons it means it is graphics okay it is pictures it means it is a graphical user interface okay and you will be able to see the commands also okay as i told you just now uh this is the command line interface just imagine a complete black screen only with the commands you will be able to uh, get the data okay this is called command line interface it means whenever i install the windows 11 operating system okay i get both okay gui and the uh, cli okay it means that is the uh, thing which you have to uh, remember when it comes to the okay that is the first thing okay when it comes to the cloud okay there is no graphical user interface guys okay there is no graphical user interface okay everything you will be uh, checking it out okay everything you will be working on uh the only command line interface okay when it comes to the cloud guys there is no graphical user interface that's why 
uh, I am telling you this is more important. Okay. Uh, you will not be able to see anything. Okay. You will not be able just like this, guys. Only black screen. Okay. You will be able to see only black screen uh, where you will be uh, entering the data, get the commands and etc. Guys. Okay. Uh, everything you should be doing. Uh, sorry. Everything you should be doing uh, with the help of commands only. Sorry. Everything you should be doing with the commands only. Okay. That's why you have to be very strong with the commands. I'm not asking you to code or uh, do anything new guys. Okay. These are the basic commands. Okay. If you learn, I will teach you uh, in a, uh, what is a very uh, not challenging way. Okay. Very sm uh, smooth way. Okay. Whenever you have doubt, you can ask me, uh, but you have to memorize it very well. Okay. Once you understand the logic, once you understand the concept of the command, then you will not, uh, sorry, then you will not forget about it. Guys, okay. That's why try to understand the command. If you don't understand it, ask me, then I will repeat it again. Okay. Now, uh, that's why this uh, command line interface is very, very uh, important and it is the only thing which is available in the cloud. Okay. You will not get like this, guys. Okay. When you, when you go for the Linux operating system in the cloud, okay, any cloud, I'm not talking about AWS, in any cloud, you will not find this kind of interface. Okay. Everything will be this kind of interface. Okay. This black screen will be available. Okay. Now. Until now, is it clear or any questions uh, you didn't understand it? Okay. We have discussed about what is a uh, Linux operating system guys. Okay. Why we have to take this Linux operating system and what are the interfaces we have it? Okay. Uh, what is, if you download uh, the Linux operating system, okay. With the GUI interface, you will get both GUI and CLI. But if you do, if you go with the uh, cloud, Okay, cloud operating system in sorry, if you go for Linux operating system in the cloud, okay, you will have only command line interface, you will not have the uh, graphical user interface. Guys. Okay, these are the things which will be uh, which we have uh, told to uh, check it until now. Okay, before going forward, uh, does anyone have any questions? You didn't understand it or anything. Okay, I will consider it as a no. Okay, now in the Linux operating system, guys, okay, uh, in the Linux operating system, there are multiple distributions. Okay, one thing you have to understand here, it is distributions. Okay, multiple distributions. Okay, in the Linux operating system, there are multiple distributions, guys. Okay, the word distribution is very important over here. Okay, the word distribution is very important over here. You have to uh, understand what is distribution. Now, you might have already uh, listened so many, heard at least, heard so many uh, words in the Linux operating system. Okay, because we are in the IT, we must have heard at least few things which is called as uh, Ubuntu. Okay, Red Hat. Just now Vinay was saying that uh, I have worked on the Red Hat. I have had a certified Red Hat a uh, very long time back. Okay, uh, that's good, Vinay. That then, uh, if you are Red Hat, Red Hat certified, uh, whatever I am just showing it to you, those are all the piece of cake for you. Okay, but still, just try to be concentrated on it. And if, if you have any doubts, if you forgot anything, you can just uh, remember it, or we can just remind you for that. Now, uh, at least you would have learned the sorry, at least you would have listened these words, guys. Okay, which is Ubuntu, Red Hat. Okay. Uh, sorry, Red Hat, Suze, okay, Amazon Linux, okay. These are all the uh, distributions, okay. These are all called as distributions. Now, uh, I have seen multiple uh, people in the interview saying that, uh, hey, I have worked on the Ubuntu operating system. Okay, Ubuntu Linux operating system. Hey, hey, I worked on Linux, sorry, uh, Red Hat uh, operating system, Red Hat Linux operating system. If you say those kind of things in the interview, guys, okay, 
if i am in the panel okay i will be rejecting you in the first uh, thing only okay i have seen a lot of people saying it uh, hey i have walked down the amazon linux uh, um, uh, operating system okay amazon linux is not a operating system red hat is not a operating system uh, ubuntu is not a operating system these called as a linux distributions guys remember one thing linux is only the the word linux is only the operating system these are all under the linux okay these are all under the linux the hierarchy as i told you like the first uh, sorry uh, the linux is the operating system under the linux uh, linux operating system these are all considered as a distributions whenever you are introducing yourself or at the time of introduction you have to say that hey i have worked on the different kind of linux distributions don't say the different kind of linux operating system there are no different kind of linux operating system there is only one linux operating system okay these are all considered as a distributions okay distribution in the sense they have their own uh, sorry they have their own uh, network they have their own interface and everything guys that is considered as a distribution now you can see top companies have their own distribution saying that uh, ubuntu is having it the red hat is having it suze okay there are a lot of uh, distributions guys and one more thing one more interesting part here it is okay you can you can create your own distribution also okay that is a totally a different path but just i am giving you a uh, idea about it like what is linux distribution in the sense linux distribution okay uh, is a uh, part of the linux operating system okay where uh, it is giving you the different kind of user interfaces different kind of command line interfaces and everything okay now this is just like a part of the linux operating system guys remember it uh, it's the part of the linux operating system ubuntu red hat these are all the distributions okay these are all called as a distributions okay now you can select any kind of distribution guys okay uh, for the practice but when it comes to the real time okay you have to understand how your company uh, which distribution it is using okay uh, for suppose for suppose uh, it is using red hat then you have to understand the red hat how it looks like how it is working and everything okay there are few commands okay there are few uh, there are few things will be common in all the uh, uh, linux distributions okay uh, you will be seeing those ones okay you will be able to see those ones and you will be understanding those ones and uh, let us uh, try to see at least uh, three uh, linux distributions guys uh, we have the red hat ubuntu and amazon linux suze okay i will try to involve uh, more uh, linux distributions in such a way that whenever the interviewer asks you or whenever you uh, already sitting in the job and see uh, the different kind of linux distribution then you will not say that i doesn't know it okay i don't know it uh, i don't know it okay uh, that thing you should be not saying to an interviewer okay hey i don't know about the red hat i don't know about the ubuntu i know only uh, amazon linux you should not say those kind of words you should be able to say uh, yes I have an idea about it yes i know about it or i have worked on it okay these kind of answers you should be saying it okay that's why we will try to involve more and more tools okay uh, uh, in that case uh, you will be able to uh, uh, say that yes i have worked on it or yes i have uh, seen this kind of scenario something like that okay now uh, on the first thing you have to remember it is linux is an operating system okay under the linux there will be a distributions okay under the linux there will be a distributions uh, we call as a linux distributions and each distribution has their own name which is ubuntu red hat suze amazon linux and etc okay now how you can create your own distribution also okay uh, first what there are there is one uh, linux operating system which is called as a parrot uh, linux okay parrot linux okay which we call as parrot linux os okay parrot linux os okay now uh, this is a uh, parrot is one of the linux distribution guys okay sorry the word is parrot os okay the word is parrot os this is linux distribution
okay there is a distribution called as uh, parrot os guys i will just show it to you how it looks like yeah here it is this looks like this guys parrot os okay now this parrot os is created from the uh, created by a uh, group of students okay group of students in india itself okay uh, the parrot os is created by a group of students in india where how they have created in the sense l they uh, they have copied okay uh, for suppose if you see here guys uh, let's take an example of uh, what i can say an example okay when we are buying okay uh, let's take an example of of a suppose i want to uh, buy a wedding uh, shopping guys okay i want to go for a wedding shopping wedding shopping okay now when i want to go for a wedding shopping after first i have to make a list out of it and i will check out that list like according to where i need this for suppose i want to buy a suit okay i will go there okay there, there is a place where suit is for the best okay of course in that shop okay uh, just i'm giving an example for suppose if i'm going for the uh, louis philippe okay louis philippe is best for the suits okay i will just go there and buy the suits of course louis philippe have also have the shoes also okay but i will not buy the shoes in the louis philippe okay i will go to the uh, different uh, mall or different centro for the shoes okay it means i am taking everything the best okay which i have it okay now the shop of louis will be or uh, levis okay have their all complete uh, everything like they have the shoes they have the trousers they have suits everything but i am taking only the best of out of it and i am going for i am going for another product for another best okay if i want to buy a watch i will go for rado okay if i want to buy a goggles i will go for the gucci okay i am going for, i am going for each and everything a best uh, feature okay which they are good for it okay and i will then i will create my own customized uh, uh, wedding theme or something like that okay here also the same thing guys how the parrot os got so much famous in the sense okay the parrot os uh, has taken each and every highlighted one okay ubuntu ubuntu has the best uh, uh, what do you say interface uh, red hat has the best uh, packages okay red hat has the best packages okay suze linux has the best uh, what do you say icons okay all these things uh, the parrot os uh, created by a students where they have taken a small part of each linux distribution okay the part which is more famous okay in the ubuntu the user interface is more famous guys okay they have taken the ubuntu user interface okay in the red hat as i told you packages are more just i will take the red hat packages okay and they have created their own linux distribution guys that is called as a parrot os okay they have created their own linux distribution and they started uh, uh giving it to the public where they say that hey uh, please check out our linux distribution we have created uh, this linux distribution by best of its features okay of course it has it why because uh, this la uh, this parrot operating system this sorry this parrot os the name is parrot os guys this parrot os linux distribution okay has the best feature of all the things okay best feature of all the things where uh, you can find a uh, linux distribution also uh, you can find a uh, user interface you can find uh, other uh, options also in the other options also in the uh, data okay that's why the parrot os uh, is one of the example saying that you can just uh, parrot os is one of the example you are i am saying that you can just create your own linux distribution also okay but one thing after creating your own linux distribution you have to go for the uh, approval guys there is a board called as linux board okay there is a board uh, where i will just show it to you linux operating system linux operating system distributions okay 
there will be a less tough Linux operating system to see. Not this one. Okay, let me check it out. Destroy world. Just to watch. Okay. Now here you can see, guys. If I uh, this is a one of the website for the Linux operating system. Uh, you can see select the distribution is there. Right? Just drop down the box. Whatever the names which you are looking, sorry, which you are seeing in front of here, these are all the Linux uh, distributions, guys. Under the Linux operating system, these are all the Linux distributions. Okay. Now, if you see, there is a, a which I was talking about uh, Parrot OS. I just want to show you that you can see Parrot. Okay, this is the Parrot OS uh, Linux distribution. Okay, and uh, there are others also which we can see SUSE. Okay, which I am talking about SUSE. These are the famous. Uh, so these are the most used ones. Okay. Now you can see uh, there. There are you can just uh, see the names of it. Yeah, some of the names will be having their own uh, names also. Okay, I have seen like uh, Rockstar. You can see Rockstar, Rocky. Okay, um, Rockstar, Rocky. These are all the names. Uh, these are all the distributions which are created by the some of the students, uh, some of the uh, just college graduates. They just want to. Uh, copy all the best features and uh, create their own Linux operating system. But when you do that, there should there is a committee, guys. There is a Linux organization committee uh, should approve your uh, operating should approve your distribution uh, to make it public. Okay, to make it public, you should be uh, what do you say? Uh, you should be going to the Linux organization committee. You should approach your uh, this uh, operating system, this Linux distribution, and they will review it. Okay, they will review it and they will uh, approve it when it is something little bit of unique. Okay, at least you should not copy everything from all the Linux distributions. You should be able to do it on your own little bit of it, and uh, then you will be. Uh, then you can say uh, over here, this is the Linux distribution. I have worked on it and. Uh, this can be done by this scenario, etc. Okay, this is the uh, concept called as Linux distribution, guys. Okay, now let me just jump over here. Now, by default, by default, any Linux uh, distribution. Okay in the operating system okay we'll have two users guys. okay one will be the root user another one will be the distribution user okay now uh i don't know how many are uh 90s kids okay if you are a 90s kids you might have uh, known about the desktop uh, still now there are using some desktop, but I'm just telling about the 90s part of it. Okay, if you are 90s kids, you might know about the desktop uh, where uh, we used to whenever we uh, switch on the uh, CPU and the desktop is switched on and everything. Okay, then you might see uh, there used to be a Windows uh, users. Okay, uh, if you have the siblings and you are the uh, 90s kids, okay, you might have this kind of things Windows user windows user uh, login page okay you might have seen this kind of page guys okay now you can see this is the user okay uh yeah here you can see these are the users okay if you have the siblings when we have the system only there is only one desktop at that home okay uh we used to create two different users guys okay one is for your sibling, one is for you. Okay, we should not, uh, what do you say, we should not log into each other. We should have some private files, etc. There is only one operating system, guys. Okay, there is only one operating system, uh, which is Windows operating system. But we used to have two users, okay, uh, me and my sister. That is like, of course, the siblings, okay. Uh, we used to have two users and we used to log into our uh, user itself, okay. 
when you log into a user itself, they, you can have your customized screen wallpaper. We can use some, uh, we, we used to have some, download some, uh, what do you say, games, and we used to download some uh, articles, books, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, when we have the single uh, mission, single system, okay? Here also the same way, guys, okay? But one thing you have to remember, whenever you uh, create, a, sorry, whenever you install a uh, Windows operating system, you will have only one user that is called as a admin user okay whenever you create sorry uh, whenever you uh, install a windows operating system okay whenever you install a windows operating system you will have only one user which is called as a admin user or uh, or, root or some user okay in the windows operating system okay uh, now that user uh, will be there later on you will create more users okay you will create more users if you have siblings and etc when, whenever it is needed okay in the but by default you will have only one user but when it comes to the linux operating system okay by default you will have two users guys okay by default you will have two users one user uh, will be the root user okay one user will be the root user another user which is called as a distribution user okay you have to remember it again because these are all the things which will be useful uh, in your next continuation sessions. Okay. By default, any Linux distribution in a Linux operating system will have two users. Okay. One will be the uh, root user. Another one will be the distribution user. Okay. Now the root user uh, will be cons also considered as a the root user is also considered as a super user. Okay, another is okay. I will not write now this. Okay, super user. Okay, another uh, user. Sorry, another name for the root user is considered as a super user. Okay. Now, when it comes to the distribution, okay, we have discussed there are a lot of distributions in the Linux operating system. For suppose, if it is a Ubuntu distribution, okay then user uh, name will be ubuntu okay now uh, red hat user name will be ec2 hyphen user okay Amazon Linux, same thing. Amazon Linux and Red Hat both has the same uh, username. Okay. Amazon Linux, Suze, Suze Linux, Suze. Okay. It will have Suze, sorry. Suze underscore Linux. This is the user underscore or hyphen hyphen Linux. Okay. These are all the distributions and their usernames. Okay. When it comes to the root user, common user in all the distributions, which will be the root. Okay. Username is root. Okay. Username is root. Okay, this is how you will be uh, remembering it, guys. Okay, I will just repeat it again. If you have any doubts, let me know. First is Linux operating system, okay, which is like very, very important. What are the advantages of it? First of all, why we have to learn the Linux operating system is like, uh, this is the base structure of the cloud, guys, okay? If you doesn't understand Linux, if you doesn't know, if you don't know by Linux by end of the next week, okay you will be facing very very difficulties uh, going forward in the cloud engineering okay now that's why uh, the first thing which is advantage is security security level uh, will be higher than the other operating systems user interface user interface will be uh, good and the next one is most preferable os for the cloud based applications okay these are all the advantages and when it comes to the interface uh, there are two in kind of interfaces available one is the graphical user interface. Another one will be the uh, command line interface. 
and uh, if you download the install the Linux operating system, you will have both uh, gra graphical and uh, command line. But when it comes to the cloud, there is no graphical. You will be working on the uh, only command line interface day to day, every day. Okay. Now distributions. There are a lot of distributions in the Linux operating system, but these are the top five. I can say that. Okay. Uh, Ubuntu, Red Hat, SUSE, Amazon Linux, Parrot OS, and etc. These are the top five. Okay. And when it comes to the Linux distributions, okay, how the Windows uh, Windows uh, operating system. Okay, uh, you can see as we have discussed just now, uh, there can be multiple users. Okay, there can be multiple users, but when you install the uh, Windows operating system, there will be by default only one user. Okay, therefore, by default, only one user that is uh, admin user. By default, there will be only one user uh, that is admin user. Okay. Uh, but when it comes to the Linux operating system, guys, okay, uh, there will be two users. Whenever you install Linux operating system, there will be two users, guys. One will be the, uh, what do you say? One will be the root user, which is also called as a super user, okay? Another one will be the, another one will be the distribution user, okay? According to the distribution, the user will be keep on changing it, okay? When it comes to the Ubuntu, Ubuntu user, Red Hat and Amazon Linux, EC2 hyphen user, SUSE Linux, it will be SUSE hyphen Linux. Okay. A lot of things, uh, a lot of distribution and distribution names will be there. Okay. Until now, is it clear? Yes or no? Or do you have any questions or didn't understand it? No. Yeah, it's clear. It's clear. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, Tomorrow I will I will stop here now because I don't want to push uh, everything uh, today itself. Okay. Uh, tomorrow we will start practicals, guys. Okay, where we will be seeing how the uh, Linux operating system looks like and the commands. Okay, we will see the commands and everything. Okay. If anyone wants to install the Linux operating system in their own system, okay, please let me know. I will uh, provide you the links and the downloads how to do it. Or else I can just, if anyone interested, I can just uh, allow you to share your screen and I will, because some of the students will be saying that, can you please guide me? I will just, okay, uh, I can allow you to share your screen and you can install it uh, in front of us. Then you will be able to, uh, others also will be able to see it and that will also record it for you. Okay, that also we can do it. Okay, uh, if you want to do the practice, please uh, install the Linux operating system and uh, do it uh, and if you don't want to do if you don't want to install this one and everything okay and i will show you a few websites where you can download it for temporary or else uh, you have to uh, use it for the cloud based only uh, it means you have to wait until uh, two weeks okay then only you'll be able to uh, create your own cloud system Okay, you will be able to create your own cloud system. From there, you can uh, work on the Linux operating system. Otherwise, uh, you cannot do the practice. But I suggest, uh, please download uh, the Ubuntu operating system, and we will. Uh, you can do the practice day to day. Okay, whatever today I am teaching. For suppose today I am teaching uh, five commands. Okay, then uh, you learn those five commands. Okay, you practice those five commands. Okay. Uh, those kind of the, those kind of practice will make you more and more comfortable in going forward sessions. Okay. Perfect. Uh, if you help us with the download links. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me just send it to you. First, you have to download the VMware. Okay. First, you have to download the VMware. Download. Okay, VMware, uh, I don't know how many of you know it or doesn't know it. Okay, VMware is a, a virtual machine software, guys, where you can use both operating systems at the same time. Okay, for suppose I have, now presently my main operating system is Windows operating system. Okay, inside the Windows operating system, uh, I can use the uh, Ubuntu operating system also. Okay, how I can manage two operating systems in one 
a physical machine one laptop or anything okay he is because of the this virtual machine okay on the physical machine okay remember one thing on the physical machine you have the windows operating system on virtual machine okay you have the uh, ubuntu operating system like that okay uh, first of all you have to just google it uh, english vocabulary what is meant by physical what is meant by virtual okay physical in the sense which you can uh, see it and touch it and everything okay virtual in the sense you can see it but you cannot touch it it will be not in front of you uh, to use it or anything okay that virtual machine okay now uh, if you want to download it uh, just go to the uh, vmware download uh, where is this okay i will do it from here itself products Okay. Yeah. We are box station. Why it there is no VMware box station? Just a second. It is showing available, but it is not showing to download. Uh, check your text spot. Text spot. No, no, no. Text spot. Uh, I don't want to suggest for the third party tools. Always I go for the uh, this one. Okay, now I can see. Is it asking for sign in? Okay. In the products, I have to be able to VMware products. I have it in my system. Wait a second. VMware Workstation 17 player. Okay. VMware Workstation 17 player. Strange, I'm not able to see. Okay, this is there, but I don't trust outside uh, this ones. And by the way, I don't know the text spot, that's why I don't trust it. Just try to see, uh, maybe it is because the region based or something. I'm not sure. Just try to download the virtual machine 17 player. Okay, after doing it, just uh, uh, see for the article you want to install in VM. Okay, uh, if you at least uh, what do you say, uh, just download this one uh, VMware install uh, 17 player. Okay, uh, and keep one more uh, install which is called as uh, ubuntu um disk okay ubuntu disk image okay download this ubuntu disk image okay download ubuntu disk desktop is there right okay accept okay download this one okay if you download this one and uh vmware uh, virtual machine uh, uh, workstation uh 17 pro or something 17 player it's not pro uh, pro will always be uh what do you say amount okay that's why I just download uh, 17 only okay download this one and uh, this one okay and uh, 
if the, i will explain you in the class if you need it otherwise you can just follow the article ubuntu uh, install in vm okay uh medium okay here you can see uh this is the medium article i will just control first okay this is last year's one it's okay you can see this is the 17 one okay you can just uh, follow this uh, article and uh, you can you will be able to uh, in, uh, install the vm uh, sorry install the ubuntu in the vmware okay if you if, if you want to uh, follow this article you can do it otherwise uh, just keep uh, both install both download in your system and in tomorrow class you can share your screen i will just guide you and others also can see it anyone can volunteer if anyone uh, is interested and i'm keeping this link uh, in the uh, chat box Anything else, guys? Uh, any other questions? And uh, uh, do you want me to go slow or a little bit fast uh, or not fast? I cannot go more than fast uh, than this. If you want me to go slow, I can go slow. Okay, guys, if you don't understand it, please uh, let me know that. Uh, what do you say? Uh, Shiva, you can say that Shiva, uh, can you be go slow or uh, Shiva, uh, can you uh, explain it again? And I have uh, so much of patience. You can ask management. I have so much of patience. I can repeat it again. But you have to uh, tell me where you have lost it. Okay, you have to tell me where you uh, didn't understand it and why you didn't understand it. Then I can repeat it again with a different example or different scenario where you can make it understand. Okay, that's why. Okay, please uh, let me know when you don't understand it. Just uh, shout out my name saying that, hey, Shiva, can you please stop here and... Uh, uh, can you repeat this again? I didn't understand. Then I will be repeating it again until you make it understand. Okay. Perfect. Let's continue tomorrow and uh, we will see uh, uh, the Linux practicals. Okay. Uh, from today, uh, from tomorrow onwards, we will see at least uh, three days, uh, three days, three to four days, maybe. Uh, at least this week, we will see the Linux guys. Okay. As I told you, uh, just imagine how much importance uh, we are giving to the Linux. Uh, we are going for the teaching of complete one week. Okay, one week, not one week, at least four to five days. Okay, just uh, imagine how important it is. Okay, that's why uh, please concentrate on it and please try to uh, do the practice a lot. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Shiva.